Greetings, L. Blacklight. Let me try to get this point over to you that are tuning in to my channel. Even though you say you are a Muslim, a Rastafarian, a Christian, a Hebrew, a Moor, Muslim, did I say that? You're still, what you say and what you practice is different because you're living the lifestyle of the Roman pagan mind. Your mind is entrenched in ancient Rome, Greece, all the way back to the Neanderthal man. That's the mind of the Caucasian. Now some brothers and sisters, they are right with that. But some of y'all are fooled into thinking that your your culture that you call black culture is different from the white man's culture see and everything that's in the scriptures the Quran or even the uh, Bible is being conquered by the mind of Constantine and Rome and they use reverse psychology on the masses of the people and the bat masses of the people black and white are not aware Actually, you're living in the mind of Constantine and the Roman way and the Roman way of doing things combined with Greek and they did all this shaping of the way you worship, the way you think the Council of Nice 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 and well, however you say that but it wasn't so nice and uh, what you got to get through your head black man 
is that you're in a war. You are at your lowest level. You're still on your knees. Begging for cheese. See, when a, when a conqueror comes and conquers, he conquers your woman and she's the, what they call the booty, the bounty, the booty. You know, meaning she's part of the gold and all the wealth, artifacts, all your artwork, all your science, your whole culture is engulfed and put into their culture. And they can manipulate, manipulate it any way they want to. Now, your woman is his woman now. He impregnates her with his seed. And she's in a legion, an alliance with him now. But out of all those that were conquered by the Caucasian, the black man was done the worst. And his status is lower than the woman, see. He's the bottom, he's the bottom hole. Or the, you know, he's not the top hole, he's the bottom or the totem pole. Because you can rise up and overthrow him if you ever get a notion to him. So he gonna keep that notion out your head. And so, generations upon generations, you are raised into his way of life, his way of thought. But you think you have a black culture, but you don't. All the world has been conquered by the Caucasian in some way or form, fashion. The Chinese, you know, they got a little bit of the Caucasian culture in them, the Chinese, you know. No one has kept the basic original culture because that way is, is the original way. So everyone is imitating Western world, which is the Caucasian world. So that's why you have your Olympics or your, you know, yeah, your Olympics. That's still the Roman way of doing things. When they was, for entertainment, they had a reality show called Feed uh, People to the Lions. No matter if you were a Christian or they didn't care what you was. If they wanted to be entertained, they had to put some lions, hungry lions in the in the circle with you. And you get fed to the lions. Or they had the gladiators. They had blood sports. And you practice that today. It's not so barbaric, but they have wars all the time. They love going to war. They're conquering. They, you know, so they bred their men to be conquerors. While your, your women are, are breeding you to be, or grooming you to be submissive to your conqueror. That's why the police to come and dog you around. And that's that's why they had George Floyd calling for his mama. You know. And everybody seeing this was scared to uh, get the police off his neck.
See, back back in the 60s, I know y'all don't believe this because y'all can't imagine that black people, that it was a, some black boys uh, that courageous and crazy. They would have one of our brothers doing it wrong like that. They would have got shot, beat up or something, jumped on by the whole neighborhood. You know. Y'all seen that in some of y'all movies. You know. They don't show that much. Uh, like in uh, Spook Who Set by the Door. They don't, they, don't, they don't show that movie at all. You know. Because them brothers got fed up. But see nowadays. They don't have no gangs that, that courageous. And that bad. You see them white boys, whatever y'all call them, the Proud Boys or something, they jumped the White House. Black, black boys ain't gonna do that. You know. You know, y'all ain't gonna y'all ain't gonna attack the White House like that. Y'all scared, man. Cause y'all mothers and y'all fathers groom y'all. So if you if you a brother courageous you just out there by yourself man cuz <laughs> brothers ain't gonna help you you know and you know this I know it you know if the police come in front confront me I ain't got no help from nobody you know I can't win with all them guns and police by myself you know But if I just had maybe two or three brothers help me, then the rest, then everybody else would jump in. So, so that's why we attack each other on YouTube. That's why we talk about each other on YouTube. And, you know, because the Constantine mind is ingrained in us, along with the Willie Lynch. Uh, theory papers so you know I talk about young fellow and them because they they want to be tough but they tough to each other he he he, he beats on his I mean he fights his woman I ain't saying he beat her up but he fights his woman he don't fight the white man matter of fact he friends with him just like polite he shoot, he shoot a brother, and he ain't gonna shoot that cop. This is black light, and I'm out.